Welcome, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the Sauna Show podcast. My name is Sebastian, and I've got Johannes, my business partner and partner in crime, with me. Hi, Johannes. Hey, Sebastian. Hey, everyone. Nice. Super excited to take this episode live. Fantastic. And it's episode zero, which means it's not a full episode, but we just wanted to take the opportunity to actually introduce you to ourselves, to what we want to achieve with this podcast, what we try to bring to you, and yeah, what this is all about. So, um, enjoy. <laughs> so, um, you know, Johannes and I run a really successful infrared sauna company and, you know, got, got really good gear out there that people love using. But one thing that we feel um, we can bring to the table and to the world is that we actually in touch with the latest wellness trends with people that, that know a lot of, of stuff that we believe everyone should know about health. And there's just a lot of knowledge that comes to us because of the industry that we're in. And we would love to take that opportunity and, and bring it to the wider masses. And that's how, how this podcast really be, become became an idea and then a project and, you know, now live. And we hope that, you know, our vision of, of getting that knowledge out there will, will, will happen by, by doing this. Yeah. And I think, you know, passion, I think you, you know, spoke a lot about the different touch points that we have, but I think in saying, um, you know, our, ourselves, um, you know, besides the company, I think we both have like a really strong passion for health and wellness. And that actually started ways before obviously running the infrared sauna company that we do now. Um, so therefore really excited to further igniting the passion, you know, breaking down some of the uh, stuff that's out there. And just sharing it with you guys in a, in a really good manner, um, which is both fun for us uh, and hopefully informative and fun for you guys as well. Very awesome, yeah. And and there's so much you know that has come to the forefront now, and you know the, there are different buzzwords or descriptions for it. You know whether it's the health and wellness hacks or whether it's a, it's um, the biohacking scene or the, the longevity biohack. All, all, all the rest of it, but I think it, it, it comes down to there's so many different modalities and they don't work for everyone, but there's something for everyone in there. And, and we've met so many people that have found their way to back to health or even to, you know, to thriving, vibrant health, but by pursuing, you know, quite a conventional path or a really alternative path. But I think the key that we have both seen happening is knowledge is is what it takes and and you know being exposed to many different ideas and and keep trying until you find the ones that works for your body and, and that's what we try to bring together here hey yeah big time i think um <clears throat> there definitely is a bit of an information overload at the moment and lots of you know, sort of conflicting information whether it, you know i think the best example is vegan paleo and carnivorism um <laughs> uh, you know let's no, let's not dive into that but um that's to me the perfect example that there's so much stuff out there and probably everything has its place in some way um but yeah i think we really aim to <clears throat> i guess shining a spotlight on that you know really sharing some stories you know bringing people on stage who are experts in that field and then this way elevating you guys and ourselves um to really understand this on a, on a deeper level whilst having fun together yeah, yeah. And and at this stage, even though this is episode zero, we have already interviewed um, a couple of dozen people and, and you know, some, some of them are deeply into health uh, in, in the sense of that's actually their profession. And we've got some, you know, um, medical people, some people from universities on it, and then other people that just experience with certain things and become a trainer, other people that just heal themselves, like some really high end sports athletes, people and so on. And um, I guess what what we realize is that there there is a way of of becoming unconfused again, and 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 there are certain certain uh, cornerstones that that in each modality in each knowledge bring that to the forefront, and and therefore you know you you, you can actually find really solutions uh, in in many different modalities. So I, yeah, I'm really excited to get that that all together and and demystify it, and and we will ask the questions to the people on our podcast in the way that that it makes sense to you, and you really find solutions from what they are telling us. Yeah, I think I really resonate with that, Sebastian, because I think, often, you know, we all sort of seek trust and we all see sort of one of the small things that I guess if you just line them up um, in the big picture, you know, they do make a difference. 
Um, but I think quite often, and I, you know, this applies to myself too, I sometimes struggle finding a start, you know, when it comes to mastering a new skill or, you know, following a new wellness and health, um, you know, where do you actually start? And I think, um, you know, that's really one of the big passions for us is to really, as you said, like debunk it, demystify it, you know, break it down to, hey, okay, what sits actually at the core? Um, and, you know, where do I actually make a start if I want to learn something new or if I want to, you know, master a new technique? So, Bad that you mentioned that because I think that's a big passion for us and, and you know we we see this we see this in the company as well as you know there's so many misinformation with it when it comes to you know although it's special industry highly specialized and um, but I think you know really shining the spotlight of truth um on the product and on the marketing and on the sales you know really has helped me and I believe our customers as well to really understanding actually okay what what matters. And it's the same with health and wellness, biohacking, you know, um, dieting. So really stoked to be here and um, yeah, really looking forward to sharing the episodes that we've done already with you guys. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So we will cover a lot of different ground and, you know, as I said, some is really scientific. Other people more, uh, talk more over about an experiential um, way of, of getting to know knowledge and, you know, the, the, the truth, I guess, can everyone can decide to themselves like what their own truth is but there's certainly not one model fits all and that's something that i learned certainly in the first few episodes that you know there, there's something in there that works for one and not for the other and you know you have to decide for yourself of course at the end of the day but we just want to shine a spotlight of the people that we identify as really leaders of learning leaders <clears throat> that we see out there and they have something to share that we we think is worthwhile um bringing to you for for many reasons upgrading your health upgrading your life you know reversing your age age aging as well as just you know wanting to have really really vibrant health so hope there's um, something in for for all of these seekers and and you know people that lo just love to experiment yeah and i think on that it's um <clears throat> what really matters to us is i guess you know understanding or i guess informing you guys that you know we're here to be heard as well so there's an episode that really polarized or you know where you guys want to give us some feedback on um then you know i think on the website you will find um you know contact information and ways to reach out to us so um i think that's a big you know that's a big pattern for happy matters if we you know get a bit of feedback from you guys because we want to improve as well um so do let us know you know once once we're live um and we'll be able to incorporate some of that feedback for sure Nice. Moving on. Okay. Um, what would you like to do next? Well, I think you've um, I think you've quite a remarkable story, Sebastian, when it comes to uh, what you know. I mean, how you got started with health and wellness, and obviously how you you became a business partner, friend, um, and co biohacker or co guru. Uh, <laughs> So um, if possible, I'd just like you to share maybe a little bit of um, you know, what brought you here, what obviously sparked the, you know, the passion for doing a podcast. Uh, I think obviously the roots for the health and wellness journey probably, um, you know, they, they lie somewhat way back. So, you know, I'd just like, to sh like you to share with the audience, um, you know, where you came from, you know, what led to the passion that you're living right now. And I guess also where you are living right now, what you're doing right now. So. Um, okay cool have time all right i shall do that so i um i'm from or originally from a small workers town in northern germany and um uh, you know grew up quite quite a humble lifestyle quite a standard lifestyle and and food was you know traditional german food so it's you know it's not too bad but you know it's also not 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 always the healthiest one i certainly had a lot of lollies when i grew up i remember that so. mm -hmm. ever then also really hearty food and that type of thing but i don't um, really scary um surgical thing happening to my to my whole digestion system when i was 16 and and that was i always died like you know it was between two and three hours before i would actually have died on on this that just operated me in time but um what that what that triggered in me is that i was just suddenly aware of what i put into my body because if it wasn't right that it would actually hurt because i had stitches and stuff inside me and so on and and that was really the trigger for for figuring out what's the best diet for me and what works the best so it really made me really sensitive to what i put into my body and that just developed over years to uh, becoming more and more aware, becoming more and more pure actually so i became an absolute purist 
uh, in, in eating a completely raw vegan diet, and even within the raw vegan diet, you know, the, is this water completely raw? Has this been actually warmed up? Mm, wouldn't do it if it's warm. So, you know, teas were sort of like, yeah, do you want to do teas? Well, yeah, no, I do the teas. So they're not completely raw. No, they're not, but that's all right, you know. So like really extreme. And then realizing maybe that's all, not all that good for my body and there's some some signs that this is not really healthy. And so I moved on to other things. And along the, the way, you, you get in touch with other modalities that might be not actually food related. So I went into tapping and you know emotional freedom technique would really work well for me back in the days i don't do that anymore but it, it really helped me to connect better, better to my emotional person and, and and so on i did sun gazing i'm still a big fan of sun gazing whenever i can i watch the sunrise yeah i used to do that for 30 minutes at a time on my peak you know just watching the sunrise and look directly into the sun yeah and um and and went from there to you know international health conferences. Learned a lot about quite quite cuckoo, cookie things that that are out there. What you can do to your health, and eventually ended up I guess um, in the infrared sauna business uh, just because no one else wanted to distribute this this pro product. And and I and 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 you thought that was just such an amazing opportunity for for everyone to to experience that. And because we couldn't find anyone else who wanted to do it we did it ourselves just believing in the product really and, and we're in for you know doing something fun together yeah <clears throat> it's been an, an epic journey for sure mm -hmm. and i think um obviously knowing you from before the sauna business it's amazing obviously the you know the, the path i think that this passion has really um taken us on mm -hmm. um so yeah, definitely grateful for that. And um, can you just share a bit more, maybe, on um, you know what what sort of your current lifestyle is, and what you know, obviously having gone through all these different changes and and passions and trends yeah, and being attended these conferences, I think it'd just be nice to maybe hearing a bit more on sort of what you enjoy at the moment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I I uh, live in Byron Bay, Australia nowadays. So I'm, I left Australia, uh, Germany, way back. Um, about 20 years ago or 15 years ago uh, studied studied partly in new zealand lived there for over 10 years lived partly in a van actually to save money so that i didn't have to work as hard and could focus on you know other projects and eventually so this all fell into place this is for its own business but um yeah my, my lifestyle at the moment well i have two two kids and looking forward to hopefully have more and and, and love love being a father but you know there are certain certain challenges that come with that similar to being a business owner to me that's you know someone who facilitates i guess giving people an income giving people an awesome product but also uh, being able to shape that you know and making a really awesome working place making this really awesome experience for the people who purchase and of course making an awesome uh, experience for myself as well so really passionate about all of that but you know sleep is sometimes that sometimes yeah it comes too short and you know don't get enough of it and the same with you know you grab quickly a snack here and there and that might be not the best one and it comes down to really managing and working on you to get back to to really balanced lifestyle so i'm certainly in the midst of doing that again but you know like um I, life is good and <laughs> there are certainly things mm -hmm. that that i absolutely that, that are the key, key corner cornerstones of my 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 health practice and one is definitely magnesium like i use that whenever i need to relax and want to sleep straight away use uh, transdermal so liquid magnesium breathing exercises are really awesome for that to to, to just bring that um, nervous system right down to you know where we actually can relax so i think breathing is just the absolute key but also small things like you know take, taking certain her herbs that either relax you or just just balance you more out and experimenting at the moment with the ayurvedic uh, diet which which is something that i really enjoy seeing uh yeah, that that you can cook with with certain ingredients that are actually have med medicinal properties, and and therefore you know that that affects my body in yeah many awesome awesome ways. So I'm in the in the midst of that, and yeah, I can recommend that anyone who will want to look into weight loss, which is something that I want to do, but also just to um, relaxing the whole body, having less joint pain. I suddenly got joint pain probably because I stressed too much, did did the wrong things, too many coffees and so on, and coming back to getting out of this. Um, so yeah, that, that's where I'm at the moment. That's the Ayurvedic path that I walk for a little bit to experience that. 
Fascinating, eh? Always, <laughs> always new things to try out. And I think the pool of information you can do uh, is pretty much endless. So yeah, yeah. That's hard to time eh? to you know, try out something new. So, yeah. The, <laughs> so how about yourself, Johannes? How did you get into it? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I've... Um, I haven't had a surge or anything, so I haven't had that one event that really triggered the interest and passion for health and wellness. But I think it's sort of, sort of always been there. I also grew up in northern Germany, and I still actually live in northern Germany in Hamburg. Um, although I, you know, and she spent more time in Australia uh, over the coming years. Mm. Um, but you know, when you grow up in northern Germany, like there. You, you know, for we, 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 you know, touch base on food a little bit, but there's certain, you know, sports that are really quite common here. So, you know, soccer and handball and field hockey and t uh, table tennis. And but I think part of that is, you know, it's actually quite nice because I think people at a younger age, they're usually quite active. Um, you know, the German way would probably be learning an instrument uh, sports two to three times a week. And that's sort of the, I'd say, probably the average um, way of a German kid to grow up. Not everyone, but, you mm. know, it's certainly quite strong if you live in the countryside. So what we've, I've done that too, you learned an instrument, did, um, field hockey, played football. And I think along with that, I realized quickly that if you actually eat good food, then you obviously have more energy. Didn't really, like, not on a, on a deep spiritual or conscious level, but for some reason, I've always been more drawn towards um, healthy food. So... Best example is when I used to stay at my grandma's and everyone would have a, um, well, a, you know, a rich stew or probably even cake. I used to go to the garden, make my own salad. Um, and if it would be, you know, really solid, um, heavy German food. So that was, and that basically continued throughout my childhood. Um, been always quite active in sports, American football, um, and a marathon. So, you know, there's always been that, that little bit of um, interest in really performing well and eating well. And then I think it really, you know, sparked on a new journey when I actually came to New Zealand. So we're both engineers by trade. Um, and actually, funny story, Sebastian was my supervisor prior to starting the infrared sauna business. And we worked as sort of carbon emission management. So, you know, helping companies, I guess, becoming more sustainable. Um, and Sebastian organized the flat. He organized the internship. Um, and that was sort of another journey because I, you know, here I was from, from Germany, came to New Zealand. And then I met this raw vegan dude um, who was probably eating three avocados a day, um, cycling to work and back probably 50 kilometers a day <laughs> and it's like okay holy heck this is something new um then i think that was just quite an inspiration to that because obviously I explored raw veganism um with the hippocrates institute and um, which was obviously another ted point um within its owner business since they've been using it in their sort of uh detox clinics for any sort of healing you know whether it's uh, cancer or arthritis um mm. you know part of the protocol is basically putting them on a on a, a living i think a, yeah a living raw vegan diet along with infrared saunas mm. um and that sort of that was in the start of the sauna business and from then you know i think it's just amazing because obviously infrared saunas is for general wellness but um you know with people like ben greenfield um deepak chopra uh, Dave Asprey uses an infrared sauna, Zach Afton, you know, and it's, it's this whole cosmos, this whole space of, of new people um, and new touch points that opens up. And then to me, he was certainly a major contributor when it, come, when it came to, you know, really following certain trends. So at the moment, I'm really passionate about biohacking. You know, the glasses that I'm wearing at the moment, they are prescription glasses, but they have a blue light blocker in them. Um, you know, oh. sleep is one of these big things that I'm trying to mask at the moment. I, you know, do try my regime as well. You know, sleeping mask, we reduce the exposure um, at night time. Um, and then trying a bit of paleo. I've done the Ayurveda a little bit, but um, I might actually start it again because I, I do donate with parts of that. Mm -hmm. I still like my, my farmer's market and my garden salads. So that's still a big part of me. Um, and yeah, and then I think from now on, you know, we've got a red light therapy at the moment, which I'm playing with. And it's just endless. And, you know, it feels like a huge playground. And I think you can choose all the different things that you want to play with, you know, blue lights red light therapy and full and fasting, gazing, just to name a few. Um, I was really passionate to obviously aligning the profession, which is the, the business 
uh, mm -hmm. with a passion. Um, and I think that's why we're here because we feel like, okay, great, running a business is fun, but you know, let's actually go on a on a on a you know more sophisticated conquest of really sharing actually all the all the knowledge and all the connection points, all the networks that have established over time, and you know, giving something back to the people. Um, so super grateful for being here. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, something that I always introduce people to when they say, "What what's your business about? Or, you know, why did you do it?" So we we sit down and we said, like, okay, you know, what what do we, what do we want to get out of you know running running this business and, and distributing this you know this ever infrared sauna all, all over the world? And um, we said it's fun. It has to be fun, and we really live by that, and we make decisions by that. You know, if something's not fun or someone is not fun, then you know we make the decision. Maybe we can play with them um, to be really really profitable to actually be able to do awesome projects like like this podcast right you know this is something that is not really business critical for us at all but we, we just love that topic so you know we're able to do that because our, our business you know is a healthy business and then bringing actually um, a lot of wellness to our, our team so you know get them get them not on, only financially better off but also educational better off and, and just finding what, what their interest is and really supporting that so it's it's meant to be a nurture ground for the people that work for us to um to develop themselves and their family you know and everyone has an infrared sauna and gets an infrared sauna when they work for us and um and many other insights and and opportunities that for us really really important that makes us feel good and you know it's, it's fun to to do that with with the team um yeah team and in Australia and the team in, in Hamburg, we are based, but many different nationalities because we were in different markets and languages and that. And then, of course, you know, the customer comes next. And again, you know, we want to create the, the, the best wellness product that we possibly can. And that has changed over this, the years that we have been in the, the market quite substantially. And we've found better, better ways to serve people with, with better technologies, with additional technologies and new modalities, but all... And modalities but yeah there are many many different different ways that that we try to really enhance the experience and then of course how we deliver it i think that's it isn't it did i miss something customer promises is a big one hey? like really ensuring customer satisfaction you know offering 30-day money back warranty because you know although it's obviously business which has to generate money i think you know that's never been the main driver for us i think it's always been to have fun and to empower you know i think in our core values we've mentioned to the people which is empowering customers um staff members or team members as well as their families mm. um and i think we try to live by that um yeah so otherwise that's right. i think it's spot on yeah, yeah, that's right. And I guess the lifelong lifetime guarantee of our product shows us too. And and our actually the last thing, and that's where the podcast fits in very well, is like we also want to uh, impact the wider public. So people who are actually not our customers and not not people that are interested in buying our, our saunas, but are interested in this knowledge. And we feel that's also a success if we can just share knowledge that is uh, useful and 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 beneficial to these people that that is also part of this endeavor that 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 we call uh, clearly jacuzzi international so that's that's who we are and that's that's what we stand for and so far it feels really satisfactory and you know of course we have more and more goals and so far they always come you know you set a goal and, and you get a goal and it seems seems to be happening over and over again so I'm really excited to continue this journey for sure great yeah yeah glad to be here indeed yeah, hey, um, look, um, people who have listened to the other podcasts that we have recorded um, might know that already. But, you know, we always ask three questions at the end of um, of the podcast. And they're, they're really simple questions. And, you know, there's one, you know, what are the three things that get you about out of bed every every morning? And then that's really just to, to figure out sort of like, what's the driver for a person? So that's you know that they do what they do and and get really mixed answers you know some are really practical and say like well in reality it's my wife and my little child that's just screaming you know and that's fine you know but you still get a glimpse of sort of like what their look life looks like and other people's like i just want to help people i can't wait to get into my practice and do that stuff and that's great and then the second question is like what are you what are you really excited about in this very moment moment and I think that's also just you know, just to make it a little bit temporary, like just to see like contemporary, what, 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 what is it that you're at the moment burning for? You know, some people, it's, it's something that's going on in the news. Some, some people, it's a project and some people, it's a study. It's, it, yeah, it really depends on other people just like dancing, like, it's, you know, deep and, and really sh 
really simple, you know, depends on to whom you talk to. And then the third one, yeah, it's just something quite deep, you know, why do humans exist? You think like, why, why is our existence like, why, why, yeah, why do we exist? And again, like some people are, you know, come up with quite a funny answer and then other people like they've thought about it a lot and they actually give quite a deep and philosophical answer. And, uh, one motivation to to ask the same questions to all the different peoples is that that there is you can just see you know they're all people like we're all people you might have a really academic podcast but then you bring it back to you know what what is it that you know you as a person gets you out of bed every morning so on so i just want to explain that 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 came really from the interest of just show us you you're just a normal person and you have, we all have the same drivers and the same thoughts. And one is like, why do we actually exist? Sooner or later we think about that. And for me, it's personal interest as well. Maybe that I threw that in. So Johannes, just while we're here, <laughs> what are the three things that get you out of bed every morning? Yes, I love that question. <clears throat> I haven't prepared. So um, I think it's really good that I haven't prepared because it really, you know, puts a spotlight on the truth. Um, I think one is certainly I was really inspired by the book of John Stileski, um, the, I think it's the, the Five Big Things for Life or The Big Things for Life, I think it's called. I need to double check again. But, um, and it's a book basically that uh, talks about uh, creating a legacy where, you know, whether it's a company or an organization or, um, a community uh, because it's really empty each other. So it's basically creating a framework where um, I guess ideas can can thrive and and people are being encouraged and empowered as opposed to you know just one individual you know being there. That's certainly one of the big things is I just really living that and um, you know not only in the company but also in, with my family um, and with the with the friends and the community that I'm with. It's just really allowing people to step up, allowing people to take action and not just, you know, always, always being like ego focused. And I think with the company, um, we, oh, I pretty, I mean, we both live that pretty much because, you know, for us, it's really important that, you know, people step up, take responsibility and, you know, um, it's probably more a bit of a, of a project management leadership style that we have as opposed to, you know, um, top down management style. So that's a big one where I really feel like great, you know, so um, <clears throat> I do have the possibility of living that and, you know, living up to the promise of really empowering that. Um, second one is I'm, um, I really love the saying, becoming the best version of yourself. Um, so I try to live that. Obviously, we all have days where, you know, where I guess it's harder, but then, you know, you sort of learn just how to surf. You know, there's a saying that says, oh, you can't surf the waves, but you can, you know, learn how to surf the waves of life. Mm really with that um just trying to be an inspiration myself but also to others by you know being impeccable with your word um you know i guess you know breaking through certain barriers that that we all face in our lives whether it's emotional spiritual or physical um and i think that's really one of the main motivations to get up and say okay great you know today's a new day and i have a new opportunity to actually become a better version of myself for myself as well as for others um, and then the third one is really um, to leave an impact in the world. So I think everything we do has meaning. And, um, you know, we, some would say um, it's destiny. I don't know, but um, I think there's certainly some, some variation of, you know, manifestation, law of attraction that I think I really resonate with. Um, but I think everything we do, um, you know, impacts other people whether it's in good ways and bad ways. Um, and that's a big one where I feel like, okay, great. I do want to inspire people and I do want to, you know, contribute in some way. And those are definitely the three things that just really feel good with me and where I feel like, okay, I'm in the right place, the right thing, and I belong here. Very cool. Very cool. Well, you know, let's stay with you. What What's the, the thing that at the moment excites you a lot and um, in particular at the moment you're looking into or you're doing? You mean in terms of practice, health practice, or well, anything really? Like you know, you might like to watch a show, or you don't know. I don't know. Maybe going for a run. I love the podcast. I think <laughs> loving Sorry, the podcast. We're here doing a podcast. So <laughs> that's certainly one of the big drivers. Um, yeah, I think. I mean, for the business at the moment, there are endless opportunities, and I don't really see that as you know. On one side, you have the business, and on the other one, you have the private one. I think they 
you know, you can actually align them in a really nice way. And that's why I really feel like, you know, both for myself and really exploring new ways. Uh, but, you know, it's the same for the business. And I think that's really part of the excitement at the moment is, I, you know, really feeling, okay, great, you know, health and wellness space. And there's so much stuff going on right now. And then I think we can actually inspire a lot of people and really do good for the world. That's uh, number one. Um, I'm at the moment trying to improve my sleep. Um, I haven't been sleeping very well. Not, not, you know, it's not not a catastrophe, but it's certainly not like the, <laughs> the best sleep that I have been. So yeah. you've had better. Um, better at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I think it's it's not just the thing. Magnesium and you know, there are all, all sorts of different stuff. But then you, know, it, you can't just fix one thing and then you know that's that's resolved at least i believe that's a reason for my um my not sleeping well mm. um so being on a journey to really improving that but i think overall you know the, the big journey that i'm excited about is just really becoming the best version of, of myself you know which includes sleeping which includes a spiritual awakening and spiritual journey you know it includes the business uh, it includes exercising so and i think that's you know what we can call life i guess um so that's mm. I'm just excited about life at the moment. I think more than I've ever <laughs> yeah, you've always been though, but yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. But it's um it's just it's just awesome times to live in. Right mm -hmm. now. That's why I like the saying, you know, the world is a playground and you know, you get to choose what you know how you want to play this. So Definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that too. And um why do you think humanness exists? Why do you think that the existence of ours is just there and could continues? You mean humans in general? Yeah, like why is this universe thing exist? Like, why, what, what is it? What, why are we alive? Ooh, deep question. I don't know, I need to, you know, I need to, need to let that sink in. I, I do believe that we're all sort of designed to, um, to leave an impact here and like for the good, um, and sort of, you know, influence and positively inspire or inspire people, um, Whether that applies to all of humanity, I don't know, but I think it's certainly to do with a legacy and being here to, yeah, I think empower, inspire, um, and hopefully to give back. I mean, what's happening in the world right now, you know, there's so many, so many issues happening, but um, I do believe that this can actually be for the better if we just come together and community. Be cool. That's beautiful. Right. Well, I give I give my answers too if you like. Oh, of course, I would. Uh, <laughs> I would insist. All right. <laughs> so, um, three things get me up. I really enjoy my family. So, say so, you know, my my partner, soon wife, and uh, look at that, we got a visitor. It's nice. I should have locked, I should have locked this. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> We're in a Zoom room, so someone else came in. Did you kick them just out straight away? <laughs> me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay oh, good on you um <laughs> i wouldn't have mind to see who wants to jo join our podcast this morning but um yeah it's things so so it's my you know family i also have two kids uh one is one Leia, and this Simba. Simba's one. so I, i love seeing that dynamic you know and it's uh, it's not always pretty actually <laughs> like you know we We, we're sometimes tired we're sometimes you know exhausted at the end of the day and or anything in between and you know and, and seeing those four people somehow making it uh, all really beautiful and you know wishing the best for each other but you know it's it's a dynamic and that i so i get up and i enjoy that, that dynamic seeing that in the family and you know all that love that i have for these people and they're for me and um other thing is yeah i mean you know i love my my work like i, I love that i there's so much you know we've been in it for some years now but there's so much change and you know even what i've done half a year ago has changed again because other people have stepped in and taken it off me or we just changed direction to a certain degree so that dynamic is something that for me I, i always say business is my dojo and and i mean it like you know like sticking to my word to my ethics to to the values that we have in the company and and that's something that is a huge challenge and and also Yeah, just beautiful to to work on that over and over again. So I really, I really rate um, being in a business and, and having a team that that prescribes to that together with me. So yeah, I just love that. What else gets me up in the morning? Oh, look, um, 
I live in a really, really beautiful part of the world, in my opinion. Like certainly something like I live right at the beach. I can I can hear the the waves anytime when I uh, when I'm quiet <laughs> or the storm. I don't have to even be quiet. And um, I just like the existence so close to it. I just enjoy it. It's just a joy that every time I think about like, wow, I'm living at the beach. I just I smell the beach and that it's something that gets me up in the mornings, wanting to like this is this is very awesome. So those are the three ones. And what am I doing right there in this moment? Um, I'm writing a manifestation course. I'm actually giving a manifestation course at a festival um, at New Year's and um, some some writing that I've been working on that for, for a long time on that topic. And, you know, I like really like, you know, Abraham Hicks works or Joe Dispenza's work of uh, manifest manifesting your, your reality. And I have no doubt that, you know, we have absolute control about our reality. And so um, how to do that and, and, you know, share what I've done, you know, coming from quite humble background, being in a really, you know, great position now and looking back at, you know, my book full of goals. One goal was I have 10,000 goals and, um, and, you know, going through them and, you know, saying, wow, you know, this has happened. Wow, this has happened. Or oh, luckily, I actually had the opportunity that this has happened, but I don't want this anymore. So this is good, you know, but it would have happened if I wanted it to happen. And um, yeah, I, I still love that. And so I'm giving a course and I'm working on that this month. And then the third question, why do we exist? For me, that's, you know, it seems my answer sounds maybe completely ph philosophical and up, out with the fairies, but I live by it and I don't mind mind my framework that it works for me so to me existence is not good or bad but just is and you have the choice to either feel joy about it or you you feel miserable about it you know some people swing their opinion as soon as it rains they don't like it or you can actually see the rain and you love it right you know and you can just decide to love it and you know that's true with many things and so my de the definition of existence is that eternity only exists as long as new experiences and expansion happen. So expansion is if you learn something new, if you create a new desire, if matter creates and so on. And to me, that's all entangled. So that means as long as I act as part of this universe, and I believe everything is the same. So, uh, you know, like we're all full of consciousness and I'm like, as, as a human, there's a bit denser consciousness than, than, than maybe like, you know, the wall of my room or someone, but it's all consciousness, all the same thing in essence. And, and so as this interacts with each other, like I run, run into the wall, I interact with consciousness, consciousness interacts with consciousness, or people interact with people, yeah, that all expands the universe because something new is created, a new experience is created. So for me, the meaning of life is really of participating. That's basically what it is. And to me, that ensures the universe will forever exist. And that, yeah, that's probably quite far out and, you know, who knows, but I enjoy that because it means like there's no right and wrong really because often the right from yesterday is the wrong from today and before figuring that out I just say well I participate and I know that I have a compass within myself that feels right you know and I, I try to act on that and yeah that's enough for me you know like you know that's from for me that's a framework that works and I just know you know my consciousness is infinite it's great you know helps me with not fearing death and stuff like that as well so we're good <laughs> Amazing. There you have it. I think that was a beautiful journey to share. Ah, thanks. Cool. I um, let's wrap this up, eh? Episode zero. Just quick hello and hear who we are. I hope it I wasn't too long, and you know there was something in for everyone, and you know get a little bit of an idea. But you know, before we stop, um, we love love you to listen to other podcasts of ours of course and you know give us feedback do subscribe on itunes as well as any other channels that you're listening to or even watching us on youtube if you do and you know do rate a review always helps you know because it gives us feedback but also you know it bumps up the interaction with our content which means you know other people can find this this information and hopefully find it useful and do share it with people you think that that might benefit from it so we thrive on feedback of any, any kind. So, you know, if you want to hear an interview with a particular person, you know, do point them out to us and we will track them down and uh, get them onto the show as well. Right. And I think, yeah, and, you know, because it's uh, the sauna I showed at um, obviously iTunes, Spotify, um, I think on the website, you'll also find some uh, personal contact information for Sebastian and myself. 
so do get in touch you know it's just a bit of a chat every just let us know um you know what you enjoyed what you haven't enjoyed um but otherwise we look forward to taking you on to the journey of life the journey of podcasting and just really hope that uh, with the podcast you know we can inspire and give something back so thank you brilliant thanks johannes all right everyone out there have the best day ever be in touch ciao ciao